Hey FlossTube, it's Lee from Creatively on Sunday 28th of June uh, with FlossTube number 31. Who to thunk it, eh? Um, still in Kauru, um probably for most of the next week. Um, again, wash machine's going, sorry about that. Neighbours are mowing lawn, sorry about that. Got the doors open. It's actually after a week of horrendous rain and miserable weather. We've had um, we've got sunshine today. Yay! Sorry, I need my water. So poor old dad. Um, I think last week he was home and asleep, and then we went back to hospital. And last week was a it was a low, um, but I hope. But yeah, it was a low week. Um, just the infection in his leg just wasn't, it got worse um, and uh, they still can't grow a culture, they still don't actually know the exact strain of whatever it is he's got, they've tried different antibiotics and I think um, he's on a fourth one I think now. Um, from a, it was yeah, it was, it was a tough week, we're trying to organise what happens when he comes home and I'm not here, care and options and all that stuff and I think last week emotionally, mentally dad just had a real low and probably felt like it's not going to get better and what does this mean um, and we had a bad social worker assigned to us and when I say bad in that she just stood there and talked at him and he was trying to, we were trying to ask questions and she just kept trying to go well this is what happened four weeks ago it's like I don't, we don't care like what was this what was arranged when he left when he was discharged or transferred from work at a hospital it's like f four weeks ago or however long it is and um it's irrelevant now because he's got other things that need to like his heart it's actually doing really good it's, it's everything else so trying to say we want a new assessment, like we want to sit down. Anyway, um, poor dad, he just it wasn't good and I went and made a complaint to the ward. So the social worker comes through the hospital, so I put a, a complaint through the ward manager. I don't know if that's her title, but that's what I'm calling her. And asked if, uh, but also we wanted to have a family meeting with the medical staff because we sort of were didn't have a full picture of what was going on. It was lots of little bits and pieces and I guess we had information in isolation like, oh, today his liver, his kidneys aren't functioning very well. Um, well then having sat down and talked with a doctor, that can fluctuate and um, actually subsequent blood tests, his kidneys were doing fine. So, but all we knew is that he'd had two blood tests where his kidney function was really poor and that's all we knew. Like they don't come and say, they're doing good. So, um, Anyway, I asked for a, a doctor to sit down with us and go through all the things and that was really good and then I asked for a different social worker and she's been a lot better. So, cut, long story long, um, he's doing better. Like, hit a low last week, yesterday is doing quite good, it's just this infection so they all agreed the best place for him was in hospital until they get it under control. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow, Monday, and in theory his new care package starts on Wednesday and if he gets home, stays home a couple of days, that care starts and we're happy with it, potentially I'll head back to Wellington on Thursday or Friday. We'll see. It's been a really long time. Um, I think he's a lot better mentally now, like, you know, on Tuesday last week he was not good, Tuesday, Wednesday last week, but it's got better, so yay. Anyway, poor dad, um, it's been a long, it's been a long road, and um, his, but his heart seems to be, his cardiac stuff seems to have settled down, which is really good, so now it's just mostly the infection that we're waiting to sort out. And it is a real doozy, I have to say, having seen it, um, hmm. Anyways, that's the dad update, um, retreat update, I think I mentioned last week, our um, Wellington Sitchin retreat, which the 
registration is pretty much closed for that I think. A um, few people on the wait list but we've kept it at 45 to fit in the venue which is really exciting. Um, so it's going ahead with all the organising, all the detail now. So, so looking forward to meeting other stitches. I think we've got 16 coming from outside of the Greater Wellington area. We've got three in the Greater Wellington area and everyone else Wellington based. So it's pretty cool that so many people want to come and I don't really have any stitching peeps so it'll be neat to meet people um, but because Dad ended, up, Dad ended up in hospital and I'm not working, I'm going to sneeze <coughs> excuse me um, I'm so allergic to something, I think it's, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, because I have the evenings to myself, not working and not looking after dad, basically, this last week, I managed to get some stitching done, so, um, on the red and the black by Prairie Moon, I've already, anyway, um, on 36 count grandpa's sleeve with from x Designs with some Silks For You and Victorian Motto Sampler Shop and that's right, there's a finish. I finished this last night. Very happy with it. Um, and here we go. So yeah, I managed to squeeze in my initials and the year. There's nowhere specifically on the chart for them. But yeah, there I there it is. So when we're gonna start that, 25th of May, finished it yesterday, 27 June. So very happy. So I am going to give myself a month or so off and then I'll do I wanna stitch red and red the red and the black too on same fabric, same silk, but I'll probably change the red to one of the other sampler shop reds. So that one was O Scarlet from the Fabulous Red collection. And yeah, so that was my finish. Whoop whoop, ring a bell. Very cool. Um, so then I picked up my, because I'm determined to get this finished, it's so much stitching, I'm determined to get this finished um, before I start Sunrise and Sunset, so it's Thistle, one of the Broken Star, Broken Star quilt patterns from Carolyn Manning Designs, just stitching this on 28 count Brittany, one over one, with the cold fall. Started this sometime in oh, oh, around 5th of October last year. And I got quite a bit done, but you probably won't tell. But certainly just through here, a lot of this um, section. Um, It's not quite halfway. It's probably two fifths done ish. It's a lot of stitching in that, right? Each of those little box and 81 stitches in each little square. I'm going to do maths. 18. 18 by 18 by 81. So there's about 26,244 stitches in it. So it's quite a lot. Anyway, I think it's really pretty. So, but um, that just picked that up to work on last night and a bit this morning. Don't know what. Oh, I um, managed to pick up some of the thread that I was missing. I don't have fancy bags for everything. Um, I managed to pick up a couple of the threads, so the red and the orange that I had run out of slash was low on for my Quaker Seasons of Friendship, so I'll probably pick that up this week. Do a few, do a few motifs on that. Um, 
Haven't been home. I know from tracking nothing that I'm expecting in the mail's turned up. Just got to be patient, guys. Um, mail from anywhere but next door is taking a while. And because I've had, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. I guess I got seven pieces of fabric on the way. Um, two for a specific purpose. There's the Ada coming from France for my Sunrise and Sunset designs from Carolyn Manny. Um, but the other are part of mystery clubs and what have you, and some stuff I won from Fortnite Fabrics. So I don't have plans for any of those. I don't know what I'm doing in July. I think I had general plans. But they kind of went out the window in the last while with me being here. Um, I don't know what my July start will be. I mean, I could start the other red and the black, but I want a break. Um, so probably what I'll do is when I get home, I'll see what my fabric and floss is that's come. Oh, it hasn't arrived yet. Anyway, I'll see what's arrived um, or what will arrive in July. And maybe see about starting um, something I've already got. Um, I haven't kitted up the Red Deer sampler, which I really, you know, I'm quite keen to get started, but I think I said, I don't know when I said, I need, yeah, I need to, I don't have anything except this chart. It's a big in, so I probably want to finish a couple of things before I start. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then I guess I'll probably want to start something at the retreat. So, that's, you know, yeah, so I have to think about that, getting something kitted up for that. And probably because the lighting won't be that great, um, I probably won't start, like, it's. I won't plan a project to take to my the retreat that is on dark 40 count fabric. I'll pick something, perhaps 36 count on a lighter fabric, or who knows. So, yeah, that's it. Pretty light video today, um, but at least, hey, finish. And, yeah, I'm going to head in, I'm going to uh, upload this video should require very little in the way of editing. Um, upload this video and then I'm going to head into Fakatani, run a few errands and then um, Dad wants a vanilla thick shake. So the dude, the dude in the bed across the road with his broken ankle from a hit and run a couple of weeks ago. Um, he said there's a, told me about a dairy and close to the hospital that does good vanilla thick shakes so I will go there and grab the other thick shake on the way with the aim of delivering that just around lunchtime um, visit with him for a little bit and then come home and do some stitching probably that's it really okay everybody um yeah take care don't let your needles rust